Hey everyone, welcome back to Let's Play Civilization 5 Brave New Orders Morocco. So, I actually decided to go for plastics before electronics because I want to get my research lamps ASAP and I don't need electronics that fast. So, once I get plastics, I should be able to faith by a research lab in Amsterdam and that's going to give me a huge instant science boss because Amsterdam is my highest science output city and I will obviously get started on research labs in other cities as well. Anyway, before I finish this turn, I'm going to denounce Shaka, that will give me a diplomatic boost with pretty much everyone else in this game. And the last reason why I decided to get plastics before electronics is because I won't have enough money to upgrade all of my frigates to battleships just yet. I'm going to need something like 500-600 gold to upgrade one frigate to a battleship. So that means I'll need almost 3000 gold to upgrade everything and that will take a little bit of time. My income right now is not very impressive but most of my trade routes are about to expire and I will replace them with cargo ships to Venice. I can get 20-25 gold per turn just for one trade route to Venice. So my plan right now is to get four trade routes to Venice from Fez, Marrakesh, Rabat and even Bolawayo. I will easily get at least 20 gold per turn from Bolawayo to Venice. Let's have a look. Yeah, 20.8. So that's definitely worth it. I'm going to do that. Other than that, I'll keep working on my happiness. I'm about to finish barracks. I'll get a zoo in Fez. And the World's Fair will start in 18 turns because I can't imagine it would fail in the World Congress. So that means I can get an extra policy for free which probably means scientific revolution. I will get a research agreement triggering on turn 310, but then I have another research agreement with Polynesia. I might actually be able to get scientific revolution before the research agreement with Polynesia. Let's have a look. How many turns is that? It's going to trigger on turn 330. And the world's fair will start on turn 320. So it's actually possible that I will be able to get scientific revolution through the World's Fair before that research agreement with Polynesia. I'll try. It's definitely worth it because that would probably allow me to unlock Atomic Theory and Atomic Era. I want to get into Atomic Era as soon as possible and find out whether I have uranium or not. I need to know if I'll be able to rely on some nukes in this game or not. I might use nukes later if I got a chance to, we'll see. But either way, I need to get into Atomic Era as soon as possible. Yes, I'm sure she's a threat to stability. You go handle that yourself. So, I can actually queue up a cargo ship somewhere right now. I think I'll get one in Rabat instead of that armory or before the armory. I got 17 turns before the World's Fair. I'll need 525 hammers for silver reward from the World's Fair. Anyway, cargo ship before the armory. That's 6 turns. So there we go. I can get one more? Well, no. Not right now. I can't queue up another one. Some of my trade routes should expire like on the next turn or something like that. In 5 turns. Alright, in 3 turns actually. Oh, and yeah, another thing. I just finished a factory in Amsterdam, so I'm going to assign the specialists to the factory because that will allow me to get a great engineer in 30, 40 turns or so. And I could definitely use a great engineer. I'm not sure which wonder I'm going to use him for, maybe for the castle, but a great engineer is always useful at this stage of the game, or at almost any stage of the game. Can I actually make the city not starve? That would be nice. Yes, I can. And it will still grow in 8 turns. That's impressive. Alright then, I'll keep it like this then. That's pretty much the best I can do. So, how many turns for the Great Engineer? 27. That's better than I expected. I thought it's going to be 30 or 40. So, I could actually use that guy for a wonder very soon. Which wonders are actually available? I could keep him for the castle wonder, for extra happiness. Eiffel Tower is kind of tempting. 
So maybe I'll use him for Eiffel Tower. If he's still avail if the Eiffel Tower is still available by the time I get my engineer. I'm just changing my assignment here. Well either way, great engineer in 27 turns. Copper, yeah, I'll grab the gold. I can definitely use the gold right now. As I said, I'll need something around 3000 gold to upgrade all of my frigates. Come on, it's a good deal. 300? Speaking of frigates, I could actually use one to explore a little bit. I have a lot of quests from city-states for natural wonders. Stop moving my camera. Yeah, I have like four quests from the city-states to find a natural wonder. So I'll send the least experienced frigate to explore. The one I captured from Shaka. Yeah, this one. This one doesn't have anything. So I can use it to explore a little bit. Alright, sounds good to me. I'll just move the privateer to Marrakesh. And next, did any of my cities grow? Yes, Rabat did. But this is actually fine. I can use the extra production in here. Alright, everything looks fine. What about Casablanca? No, this is not fine. Well, it kind of is, but I would prefer extra food. I'm about to finish a pasture, or well, well, not about to finish, that will take 10 turns. But I'll keep it like that anyway. Alright, next. Rotterdam is about to finish a factory. Marrakesh is about to finish a stable. So, things are looking good right now. I need to save 900 faith for the research lab in Amsterdam. And I should be able to unlock scientific revolution before the next research agreement after the one with Venice. Okay, caravan. I am going to disband this caravan, like so. And, oh yeah, great scientist. I didn't even know I'm about to get a great scientist, so this will pop replaceable parts and give me some progress towards plastics. Nice. So, 12 more turns. Actually, no, I will get plastics in 5 turns, because I will get my research agreement with Venice in 5 turns. I'll probably want to sign a new one. Can I get a research agreement with Portugal? Well, that's probably not worth it, actually. Yeah, that's probably not worth it, so never mind that. I'll save my money for research agreement with Venice, and I'll save my money for unit upgrades. I need to save up at least 2000. All of these frigates right here have quite a lot of experience. I have four frigates with targeting free, which means the next promotion they are going to get is going to be logistics. And I have one with bombardment too. This one has bombardment too. I might use plus one range on this one. We'll see. Obviously I want both logistics and plus one range on all of them, but I usually go for logistics first, because with logistics you can get experience faster. Twice as fast, in fact. So, I queued up a museum in Marrakesh. I'm still saving that great artist for the museum. I already have one great work of art from modern era, so I'll be able to get instant plus two bonus from the museum. I think? Yes, this one, modern era. So I can move both of these to a museum. This one and the one from my great artist. There's no way I'm going to enter Atomic Era in the next seven turns, so... <laughs> Mine. And let's keep exploring. I wish I knew where the natural wonder is. I could definitely use the extra influence from the city states. That's a lot of deals. Oh yeah, that was the peace treaty with Shaka. I'm not declaring war on him yet. I'm not ready to go to war yet. This band this. I need to get started on my cargo ships. So I'll get one here. After the aqueduct. So that's going to take six turns. Another one in Fez after the stable. Or even before the stable actually. Yeah, before the stable. I need the money. The stable will have to wait. Even though this table will give me quite a lot of extra production. Yeah, that's going to be very useful in FES. But cargo ship first. And I need one more cargo ship. Maybe in Amsterdam. Yeah, my happiness is okay. I can get a car. Oh no, I can't. Yeah, I'm at my limit. There's one more trade route that will expire. Yes, this one. Marrakesh to Mbanza Congo. In two turns. So I'll get started on one more cargo ship in Amsterdam, then I can move it to Marrakesh. I want to finish this museum ASAP, 
just to use my great artist. I can use the great artist for a golden age, but I prefer extra tourism and culture right now. The great work of art also gives you a little bit of extra culture, not just tourism. Right, keep exploring. Come on, give me a natural wonder. That would be nice. Oh, oh, nice, I can actually get extra silver now. I'm not sure if I can trade it with anyone, but... Now I can get started on the cargo ship in Amsterdam. So, five turns. My happiness looks fine right now, but... It will not stay that way forever. Polynesia is getting a lot of extra influence over me. If they reach 30% before I reach 10% with them, I lose even more happiness because of ideology pressure. Right now they are at 15.9% as you can see. And I am at 3.5. So if they reach 30% with me before I reach 10% with them, I will lose even more happiness to ideology pressure. I kind of regret signing open borders with them. I won't be extending the open borders agreement for sure. Polynesia has the largest culture pool in this game right now, which is not very surprising. That's kind of what they do. The AI probably spammed a lot of their unique improvements. He's constructing Statue of Liberty. Okay, whatever. Grab that silver. And now I can get plus 20 gold per turn with Venice. I thought I'll get more from Rabat. I guess Rabat doesn't actually have a harbor. I don't think it does. Keep exploring. No natural wonders here. I think there are some city-states that I didn't find yet. Yeah, there should be at least one more city-state in this game that I didn't make contact with. And that frigate is not so useful right now anyway, so... I'll just keep exploring with that one frigate. I'm sure five battleships is going to be enough against Shaka. My plan right now is to go directly for Olundi while taking Quagdosa with my land army. That's the plan. I will need some melee units to actually take Olundi, but I can bombard it with battleships. Battleships have indirect fire, unlike missile cruisers. There's the city-state, that's a cultured city-state. Let's keep exploring, and a cargo ship. Do I grab a trade route here, or send it to Marrakesh? I think it's better to send it to Marrakesh. That's going to be more money. Yeah, I'm going to prioritize trade routes with Venice, because that's definitely more money than trade routes with Polynesia from Casablanca. What? Did you just start a city right here? That's my oil. Come on. I could buy these two tiles, but I'm not really going to bother with that right now, still. That's a bit annoying. I hate when the AI does that. And that oil is actually in range of Casablanca. So maybe I should buy it. Another city-state. And... Bolawayo is up to 3, not bad. It will grow at reasonable pace. Actually, I need to bring a worker here because this farm is still pillaged. So come on, slacker. This one is free as well. Any more improvements that I need? I could chop some of these forests, which is not a terrible idea. I also need to get some archaeologists. I have very easy free artifacts from these ruins or antiquity sites. Nine more turns. Can I get an archaeologist before the World's Fair? Yes, I can. I can get one. Can I get more than one? Maybe. Hmm. Let's see. Rotterdam, perhaps. Let's try Rotterdam. Ten turns. That's almost exactly... Yeah, no. I have exactly ten turns, because it takes one turn to do the actual vote. So I'll grab these two guys. Actually, no, I am not going to grab both of them because I don't have enough slots. Yeah, I will only get two extra slots from one museum, and I already have one guy waiting over here, so I can only grab one archaeologist for now. Anyway, trade route with Venice, that's 26 gold per turn, very nice. My income is already looking much better. I'm about to get a cargo ship in Fez, so this one will go to Bolawayo. And that's going to be 20-something as well. So far, so good. What are these deals? Silver to Dido. Oh yeah, I was trading with Dido. I'm not sure if she's going to go for it again. 
No, he, she won't. That's not going to happen. There's no way I'm going to give her all of that. That would be silly. Oh, and I need to sign a new research agreement with Venice. Because mine just triggered right now. Two more turns for plastics. Yeah, I agree. I won't get that much science from him. Because his science output is not amazing. And the way research agreements work was changed in the fall patch. But it's still useful. And 500 is not that much. Great, I'm at minus one happiness now. That's what I was talking about. Will I get extra happiness? Yes, I will. In three turns. And in two turns from Bolawayo. But I need to keep an eye on my happiness. It's going to become a problem a little bit later. A pretty big problem due to ideology pressure. Another trade route. Oh, I already have one. Right. Yeah, I do. Let's have a look again. What? No, I don't. Why can't I start? Yeah, I can start a trade route with Venice. I thought I'm going crazy there. So, that's looking much, much better now. Almost 100 gold per turn. Very good. I'll chop some of these forests. I see no reason not to. They aren't close enough to the cities anyway. And I can get a little bit of a production. I still need a mine over here. So, I have to wait two turns. To lose my negative happiness. Oh, did I lose influence with the city-state? Milan, but... I'm not getting any luxury that I need. It's just Colombo that's mercantile and tire, but I can't get allied with that. Yes, I'm interested. Give me your money. Okay, a little bit better now. I still need a lot more money, but at least my income is much, much better. I'll need to be careful with these trade rounds once I declare war on Shaka. Because he will probably plunder at least some of them, or he will try at least. Still no natural wonders. What's that? Gold per ten, silk, copper. Oh, that's a deal with Dido again. Yeah, that's why I lost happiness. I had deals with Dido for luxuries. I had two deals with her. Yeah, this is obviously not going to happen anytime soon. She doesn't like me too much. I wonder why. I'm such a peaceful person, to be honest. Another cargo ship, so... I already have four trade rounds from these cities to Venice. Yes, I do. So this one will go to Casablanca. I have some trade rounds for 15 gold per turn from Casablanca. Not much I can do with my happiness right now, other than wait for the courthouse to finish and for the armories to finish. I could drop a lot of money on tire and get extra happiness. Well, I would only need to get friendly to get a little bit of happiness. I'm hoping to find that natural wonder. That would be nice, but I'm considering dropping some money on tire to get some happiness from them. Nice! I actually got infantry from the city-state. Awesome. Come on, give me a natural wonder. Yeah, nothing here. Oh well, I'll keep looking. So, highest gold. 15 is highest gold I can get. Yeah, that's good enough. This should be fairly safe. I don't think Shaka is going to plunder that. Probably not. And this one... Alright, looks fine. So, 120 gold per turn. Much better now. I just need to keep that income. But other than that, I'm quite happy with this. I'm about to lose my negative happiness. I'll finish an armory here. And then I'll finish armory in Rotterdam. The World's Fair will start in 7 turns. And I'm about to get my museum. So this is going to be instant plus 4 tourism. Plus 2 from the extra great work of art and plus 2 from the bonus. 360 gold again. Give me all your money. I still need so much more gold though to upgrade all of these frigates. I should get another Great Scientist fairly soon, I think. Let's have a look. Yes, in 8 turns. So I will most likely get Electronics in 8 turns. Well, I will definitely get Electronics in 8 turns. No Natural Wonders here. I wish I knew what kind of Natural Wonder there is on the map, because I would know where to look. Or at least roughly where to look. What's next? I finished the pasture. 
I could chop some of these forests, probably. <laughs> or get a mine on the hill. No, that hill is not inside my territory. Never mind. Repair. You will go here. What's that? Oh yeah, gold. Right, let's grab that work of art. And now I need to move my other one. So that's 14, and now I can get 16. This one goes here. And that's plus 2. Nice. So 16 tourism is not that amazing, but it's actually decent. If you look at the ranking, I'm actually not far behind. It's just Polynesia that's ahead. But I'm fine. I just need to be careful with the ideology pressure. It would be nice if someone other than Shaka picked autocracy. But I don't think that's going to happen. I don't see anyone in this game picking autocracy. Dido already picked order. So yeah, it's not going to happen. Which means the ideology pressure is only going to get worse. And I just lost even more happiness. Oh yeah, that's because I lost Colombo. Scumbag Gandhi. 19. That means I need to spend 500 to kick him out. Very annoying. I do have a spy in Colombo, but I wouldn't risk losing all of my influence. So, mine. I'm still at minus 2, but I'm about to get something. No, I'm not. So in 4 turns, which is not amazing. Can I get any luxuries from trades? Yes, I can. Give me your gold. Will he buy anything from me? I could sell coal. I have 12 coal. I don't think I'm going to need that much. Probably not. Will he buy horses? Yes, he actually will. Okay. So, I'll trade horses for gold. Nice. And I can't really do anything else now. So, that's plus two happiness. Still not amazing, but at least I'm in the positives. I could grab a little bit of extra happiness from whatever it was called. Universal Healthcare, I think it is. That's happiness from National Wonders. That would give me plus 5 or plus 6, something like that. But it's definitely not worth delaying Scientific Revolution for. My plan right now is to get Scientific Revolution from the World's Fair before my research agreement with Polynesia triggers. So I'll have around 10 turns for that. What? Yeah, whatever you say. So that's the plan. I will get my battleships in a few turns, but I still need at least 1000 more gold. Colombo requests units. They won't get them from me at least, I don't think that's worth it. Give me the natural wonder already, come on. I could really use that extra influence with the city states, but it's not happening apparently. So my army is actually looking pretty decent. I still need to upgrade a lot of these units. 295 gold. Yeah, that's not going to happen right now. My frigates are the priority for upgrades. I need to upgrade like most of my units right now. I have this crossbowmen still. I have the pikemen. I have the riflemen. Yeah. And I kind of want to get dynamite to upgrade my cannon to artillery. That would help a lot. But it's not going to happen for now. Okay, I can warn Gandhi. That's probably not going to change much because Gandhi hates me. But whatever. So, three more turns for that zoo. And I'm about to hit 900 faith. I'm waiting for 900 faith to faith by a research lab in Amsterdam. I didn't forget about it. I just don't have enough faith to do it yet. That will give me at least plus 100 science instantly. So that's going to be a very nice boost. Lumber mill. Yeah, barbarians down there, whatever. Come on, give me natural wonders. I'm not sure how many more there are on the map that I didn't discover. There's at least one more, because otherwise I wouldn't get this quest from the city-states. Dido is plotting against me, okay. Well... She can keep doing it, I suppose. She's not really a threat to me. She doesn't even have any cities nearby. So she's not really able to attack me. I'm more worried about Shaka. I don't think Shaka will declare war on me. But even if he does, I can defend myself just fine. Come on. Nothing here. 
Are you moving or what? There we go. I think I discovered all the city states now. The forest is gone. I'll chop this one as well. The farm is fixed. Oh yeah, I need an oil well over here. So I'll do that. I got an extra silver now, but I don't think I can sell it to anyone. I don't think so. I could sell some coal if I really want to. Nope, he won't buy it. What about Dido? I could sell some of these to Dido. But yeah, she won't give me more than 3 gold per turn. That's so not worth it. But I can't sell the silver to anyone else. What about Portugal? Yeah, they don't want anything from me. So Dido is the only one I can really trade with. Or Gandhi, but he won't give me a lot here. He won't even buy my luxuries right now. He hates me that much. Yeah. I think I'll just grab the free gold per turn from Dido. Will she give me four? No. Oh well, whatever. Let's go for free. I'll keep the copper for now, just in case I'll get a better trade a little bit later. Walls. I have one more turn before... I have two more turns before the wars fair. So, not much I can do in two turns. I can get started on the stable, I suppose. Or on the castle. I won't get a lot of production from the stable in Rotterdam. So that's a bit pointless. Let's check the assignments here. Yeah, this is not great. Oh, I wasn't actually working the academy, right. That's because I wanted the city to grow. But that's okay, I'm still massively ahead in science. Do I have 900 yet? No, I need two more turns. So, the world's fair vote. I can't imagine the World's Fair would fail. It never failed in any of my games. So I'll need to dedicate some production towards the World's Fair. I only need 525 hammers to get the silver reward. I'm not even going to bother trying to get the gold reward because obviously there's no way I will get it. I expect Polynesia to get the gold reward. I think they have the highest production output right now. Anyway, spices ban. I think Shaka has majority of the spices in this game, so I will actually vote for that. That should give me a small diplomatic boost with Polynesia. Zoe is done. Now I can faith by now. I need one more faith, really? Literally one more faith. Great. Oh well, whatever. I'll get started on the lighthouse. I will be changing a lot of these assignments soon. I need so many things in my capital still. Yeah. I need like one third of these buildings yesterday. But research lab is kind of important. So let's grab that antiquity site. Obviously that's going to be the artifact because it's not close enough for the landmark. Bolawayo is doing well. So this goes here. Alright. Next. I will get my research lab on the next turn. Yeah, yeah, whatever you say. Maybe I should denounce Gandhi, but I think most of the other civilizations kind of like him. So I would be shooting myself in the foot by denouncing him, probably. So, come on. Oh, nice. I got an influence boss with Manza Congo. I didn't even know I had a quest that I can complete. 141 out of 60, awesome. So no one is going to steal that from me. Okay, the World's Fair is in effect. And Spices ban is also in effect. Now I will need to change my assignments in most of my cities to get 500 hammers. That will delay my research lamps a bit. But that's okay. Speaking of research lamps, let's grab one here. So 900 faith and that's 267 science. I thought I'll get more than that, but that's fine. Can I actually assign a specialist in there and still work this academy and make the city grow at reasonable pace? And fries with that, please? Probably not. Can I? Kind of, no. The city will starve if I do it like this. I still want to get the great engineer. Maybe I should use a caravan to add food in here, but I can't use a caravan right now. I don't want the city to starve, so I'll have to give up one of these specialists. Do I have any extra opera houses? Yes, I do. 
Okay, I need to think about what to do with them. Oh no, hold on, this is not ideal. No, it's still starving, unfortunately. I only need 1.7 extra. This is 4. I could grab this tile from the other city, but... That's not going to change anything, really. Anyway, I'm going to finish this part here and continue in next one. So, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time.